I forgot my water in case I need a drink. Okay, we got it. Let's go. Hi, everybody. It's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. Glad you're here. Let's get all my stuff on here so we can be ready to go. Done. How's everybody doing tonight? Don't forget to let me know where you're watching from. Tell us a little bit about what's going on there. How's the weather? Have you been crafting? What you up to? Anybody's gotta be doing somebody. Well, somebody's gotta be doing something out there is what I meant to say. I can tell you that I have been working on this card idea for tonight for hours. I had another totally different idea in mind and I started and then decided that it was going to be a little too putsy for me to get ready for tonight. I realized I needed some Easter cards to get those started and <laughs> when I was um prepping everything I said there's no way I'm going to get this done tonight for tonight so I started on this idea and went down a huge rabbit hole hey Don so I've been down this rabbit hole trying to make some samples for you guys and just I came upstairs for dinner and that was uh the extent of what I've done for I can't even tell you how many hours I've been working on this um but hopefully it looks like I've been working on it for a while and got some good stuff going for you. So um, I don't really have any housekeeping, I don't believe. Everything's over. Um, the online exclusive have started. A couple of things have sold out already. Um, it's getting down to the end of the mini catalog, but if, if an item when you go to order says currently unavailable, that means that they're gonna get more in. So a lot of the die sets are out. So you can't get the bundle, you can't get the suite because the dies aren't there, but a lot of them will say currently unavailable and then it will come back. You'll be able to get it again. And if, if it's completely gone from the catalog or from the online, then that means that it's not coming back, it's sold out and um, they're not gonna get any more. And also, the bunny punch. I'm going to switch my glasses. The bunny punch guys sold out, but it's coming back in stock in May. And so I asked them, um, demonstrator support, if they were going to offer the bundle pricing when the bunny punch comes back in. And the girl said that she didn't know. They hadn't been told if the... Um, stamp set was going to carry over. I got to think that it's going to carry over or maybe they have told us something like tell everybody to get that bunny now because it's not going to be available when the punch comes in. So I'm thinking it's going to be available. I'm just thinking that it'll be on the carryover list of things that um, will stay available. If it's not in the new catalog, it'll stay available at least um, through, I don't know how long it stays available if it carries over on this catalog. It maybe carries over till the next mini catalog comes out. Um, anyway, the, the bundle pricing will probably be gone. So if you want to get that bunny, I would get it now and then get the punch when it comes in in May. Just my thinking, but we shall see um let's see oh yeah i haven't got started on my easter cards yet don but i need those um nope tonight i'm not doing easter but you guys will see hey mom hey kathy uh let me get uh, let's see let me switch everything down because i'm 
you're seeing me. So let me switch everything down so that you could see better. I'll show you guys. I got my um, paper pumpkin cards done. I've only got two videos done. I don't know what I did all day today. I think I just goofed around with Mike. We went to the gym super early. Came home, got ready. Then we went back to town and we went out to breakfast and then we just putzed around. And I guess we putzed around shopping and stuff way too long because I feel like I'm behind. So I'm going to switch my camera around. Let's see. So now it should go down. You should see my desktop now, yeah. He tried to pause me. No, that's not going to work. I don't have a pause button like that. But Dawn, if you want me to wait so you could go get your supper, you can certainly do that. Um, so I'm going to move. We're going to use this. I use this to focus. But this is the card we're going to do tonight. Watercolor world or we're going to um, work with. So I thought I'd show you guys my paper pumpkin cards so you can get excited for the videos. This little gem uses the um, mango card base from the kit. So I created a little opener one there. Um, this one, obviously, you got to get your own container. I had the um, an old stamp set that had this wagon in it. But you can use any kind of container that you got a basket, a bucket, a wheelbarrow. And then I made some plaid stripes with the rubber band technique on that one. Then I made this little guy, got a little bunny on there. And then you're gonna open that one up. And then this piece is part of the kit. I just embossed it with the raindrops. And then I put the um, little ducky on the inside, put a little um, enamel stuff underneath them. So it looks like he's standing in a puddle. And then the last one that I made is a shaker card um, with the pink card that's in the kit. And I'll try and get up. So I don't know if you could see it. I made shrinky dinks with the flowers. I, I stamped the flowers, colored them, and I made little shrinky dinks for my shaker. And so those are my four cards for my paper pumpkin tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. So tomorrow I will focus on getting those finished and loaded out onto the internet for you guys to see. Tonight though, I said, we're gonna use the Watercolor World stamp set. And we're gonna, I got a variety of things to show you. So I've done some ahead, I've done some partial. So I'm gonna just take it slow so if I seem kind of not with it it's because if I could show you this pile I have over here of samples and ink pads and blending brushes and stuff um, you would understand why I'm gonna try and go slow so oh, I'm gonna look over here oh hi Christy Christy can't comment she might not be signed on to her what what is it you gotta be signed on to your YouTube account to comment, I think is what I, what I understand. So I'm going to start with, let me move that aside. I got it, I've already got it placed on my Stamparatus and everything that I'm doing, I'm lining up in, in the same spot. So through the whole afternoon of working with this, I've been putting it in the same spot. So actually we will start with this card because that's closest to me. And there, these are all gonna be pretty easy. I'm just trying to show you a variety of things that you can do with this stamp because it is just a giant background. And as I stated in the, the comments, if you go to my Pinterest, I have a watercolor world board and I've got all kinds of really cool ideas there that I've found. And not all of them, as you know, for my other boards, not everything is a Stampin' Up set. 
Not everything is even a card. It could be a painting or something, but in my head, it looks like something that we can create into a card. So I've got a Coastal Cabana base at five and a half by eight and a half. We're gonna go ahead and fold that in half or you can score it four and a quarter. Oh, that's my hostess code now. I closed out last month and that is my new hostess code. If you find anything you just can't live without and it's under $150, you can use my hostess code. I have a layer of mint macaron that is five and a quarter by four. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. The more pieces I can take off my table, the better. And now as always, you guys can jazz these up with ribbon or embellishments or anything that your little heart desires to add a little extra to it. I also, oh, I gotta see if I can pull out my piece of paper from under here. Again, if you could see my table, I you would understand. I feel like the magician who pulls the tablecloth out from under people without moving, losing all the stuff on the table. That's what that's what it was just like for me. So this is the card we're gonna make. I went ahead and I stamped down the world with Versa Mark, and then I put clear embossing powder on it so that you didn't have to watch me do all that. So that is down on there, ready to go. And then I've got my blending brush. And we are just going to start, where's my mint macaron over here. We're just gonna start blending our color on And I'm starting with my lightest color, my pool party. And I'm just gonna blend around on top of that. And then you can do this in all sorts of colors. My thought was, um, you know, kind of an ocean look. This stamp gets all like the countries, the whole, the whole world. It is a watercolor world stamp set. But when you put your embossy powder on, these countries and stuff that are over here are gonna look like you've got um, the embossing buddy, like it didn't work and you've got flinklets that you don't want on there, but nope, they are little countries that are supposed to be there. But I cut these down to five and three quarter, or five by three and three quarters. So I lost some of the little countries. I'm just gonna do that. Let's see what we get. Try not to do too much. And then I'm gonna switch over to my mint macaron. And I think the colors are sort of like close enough that I'm just gonna keep using the same brush. And I'm gonna, oops, got a little bit much on that spot. I must have inked this baby up recently cause it's looking pretty juicy. And I found earlier, if I put the ink on the world and then spin it around, brush blend it around, it spreads off the world and I don't leave me. me ugh, I don't leave that, um, heavy of a brush stroke on it. So I'm gonna switch now and see what else I can come up with. It's just all a preference kind of thing. I've got Coastal Cabana. And let's see what we could do here. Kind of wanted a more of a blue look than a green on this one. Probably the mint macaron might not have been the best color if I'm looking for a blue tint, but that was just what I grabbed earlier. And 
I had them all out, so I said, why not? Hopefully I'm not jiggling the camera and stuff too much and making y'all seasick. <laughs> seasick as I'm coloring in all the water. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna stop with that. You can go as much or as little as you want. Let's see if I can blend that out a little bit. These aren't countries up here, just so you know, in case anybody out there that knows the map by heart, what it's supposed to look like on this card front. That must have been a fingerprint that I got on there. So I'm going to call that good. Then we have a tissue, a Kleenex, a paper towel, whatever you got. A tissue and a Kleenex are pretty much the same thing, sorry. Um, uh, napkin, paper towel, whatever you got. Then just take it and buff across where it's all the embossing is at and your ink won't stick there. Now this stamp is, I'm gonna call it grainy. Let me pull it up here. Can you see the variations in the color? Like down here, you know, this isn't gonna be as dark and so it's not gonna fill in as much with the embossing powder. So you're gonna have this crackly look, this nothing you can do about it. So now see, I got some ink off that spot. And pull this back in and I was going to stamp on it. Now you could get fancy and pop up some sentiment. You could, well, I could have just, you could put some um, baker's twine or some linen thread right there and then pop up your sentiment in the center. That would look really cool. Um, let me go get some and see. Uh-oh, I just knocked a ribbon spool of that wonderful thread everybody loves on the floor. And if my cat, she's sleeping under a blanket. So if she happens to figure out that that is there, I'm really gonna bust out of here in a hurry. I don't need her eating that string. All right, so we're gonna wrap that around. Let's put a little adhesive on the back to see what we get. Got a couple. Put one side up, one side down, this side up, side down. Oh God, my daughter's on making fun of me. What did I say? Jeez. She's got nothing else to do. Tell her to go clean, guys. All right, so I'm gonna put that on there. How about that? I like that. Probably now I need to pop it up, don't I? All right, let's do that. We're gonna pop it up. And like I said, you guys, I spent all afternoon designing and working on these cards. So I'll try not make too many changes because the time that it took me to come up with what I was going to show you and do, I should have figured out the timing. But I don't want to keep you here all night watching me make these world cards because you've got better stuff to do than that. But, you know, when I have a great idea, I've got to act upon it, right? All right. I was having, I didn't even get to talk to Reed today. Every time she called Mike, I said, tell her not to call me. Because I was busy. Busy, busy, busy. She calls generally for, sorry, Reedy, but nothing important. And I was focused, I was uber focused on what I was trying to get done. So should I say you girls should feel extra important that I blew off my daughter's 
a thousand phone calls to concentrate and get this taken care of. All right, so we're gonna pop that up on there. Oh yeah, today's International Women's Day. Oh, no, it's not for International Women's Day, Reed, but you could have told me that. Probably that's what you were trying to call and tell me all day was that it was International Women's Day and I should be making a card for that. So yeah, let's say that that's what this is. International Women's Day card. All right, so then I have, is this the set? Yes, threw it together. Has the you are proof there is good in the world. So I'm gonna use that. Now that I'm improvising, what am I gonna do guys? have no fear so let me find that one and let's see i got some paper here we got some white paper let's see is this going to fit in here uh, i don't think it's going to fit but let's give it a shot and see so we got some black ink we'll get out our i'm gonna have a big crash come there we go I hope this wasn't my piece for the inside. I think it might be. I better look on my desktop here for a different piece. Here's another piece. Let's see if I can. Oh, what the heck was that, Jill? That looks better. All right, let's see if it fits. Oh, uh, no, darn it. Let's see, I got another punch here. We might have to switch to this circle, which is also not big enough. Uh, I got nothing else here, guys, to punch with. Hold on. I'm gonna have to start filming closer to the supplies. So I found the next size up punch. And then we'll just pop that up right in the center there. You know, we could put it on a layer. We could do a lot of things with it, but you know what? We're not gonna. We're gonna keep moving forward. Forward is good. So we'll put a couple dimensionals down here. On our, we're gonna try and uh, straddle our string, which I didn't do a very good job of. So we're gonna move those to the top. Top. The bottom. Put it in the center. And there we have it. I kind of like that now. And then this car piece goes on the inside. And I just put thank you on the inside of that one. So let's get the, that comes from here. Thank you. And as you see, I got all my stickers on my panel there so this is a little itty bitty thank you even though it's probably a great big heartfelt thank you for whoever would get this card but the stamp's a little tiny one and it's crooked flip it over eyeball arc stamp See if we can get it straight this time. It's all or nothing. <laughs> I went the other way. 
Oh, well, we'll go back to this one. It's straighter of the two. I overcorrected. No biggie. And then we'll stick this on the inside. like that and our first little sample card is done so there's one way that you can make the world it's pretty quick really easy i'll put those over here then i went and figured i would do i saw a couple people who were um Like making a multicolored, and that's kind of a, a, a faint multicolorness. And I put this one on Highland Heather and a So Saffron base, but I just let me show you how I did this one. Let me get all my pieces and parts here figured out before I get started. All right, so this one I'm going to make into a darker color. So let me get my, this is my inside. So I got my five by three and three quarters inch of basic white. And I'm going to line it up inside. I got to get some new of these bars. I just got some. Like sticker things that will help me that I can wrap around them and it will um, help me pick them up better but I broke them you guys I they're dangerous be very careful when you use your magnets all right we are going to focus on I'm going to prop my lid up onto something it just helps me to not have that extra um put it down here it just doesn't have the same amount it doesn't feel as sturdy so I like to put my stamp pad underneath or like a block or something underneath to help give it some extra support but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my I've got melon mambo mango melody and gorgeous grape and you can take some sponges or some daubers and daub all around on it. But I'm gonna show you another way. Oh, and I didn't, if I'd had time to make one more card, I would have done it and showed you guys. But I, I would have masked it off and like done all one color here, then cleaned it off and then done the middle in another color and then done the bottom in another color, but in like colors that flowed not too many separate colors like this but anyway we are going to start with i'm gonna start with my gorgeous grape and i've got a blender for all these little bad boys and i'm just gonna blend some color directly on the stamp and i've used it so much today i hope it's coming clean Hi, Piper. Oh, ombre. Yes. Thank you, my dear. All right. So I'm going to just brush some color on. I'll say randomly, strategically random. Not too crazy because I gotta remember where it's going, but you'll see here in a second. So I'm gonna close this one up. I can hop on it. And then close it down. And I lost my squishy tool because I took everything, darn it. I took everything back over to the, when I made one more sample after the fact before dinner, I took it, the my tool 
pressure tool over to the other desk. And rather than run back over there again, I'm just gonna do it like this. So now we've got our purple down. And then I've got my little cleaner here. So we're gonna wipe it off just so our colors don't like bleed together as much. We don't have to clean it. And we still could have started with the lightest color just in case you don't get it clean enough, but I'm hoping to get it all cleaned off so that they aren't gonna muddy up too much if they do get overlapped in there. So we'll call that one. And then now I'm going to do the Mambo. And I got a brush for that. And I'm gonna look over here at my sample where I'm going down and I'm gonna try and see where I need to put my, my color. This up here, we got nothing through here. Oh, we got a lot through there, so I better stop because I don't know what I got going on down there. Uh, let's see through here. Close it down. Gonna push on it again. Now we've got our pink on there. I'm gonna wipe it off. Same scenario as the last time. Try and wipe that off enough so that it, like I said, it doesn't muddy your colors too much. All right. And then now we're going to use the mango. We'll get our color for that. And then we're just gonna look. It looks like I had a goober on the from the cloth from my sham wow. So we're gonna come down here. For some reason, we're not getting a good image impression up through the center. And we'll try that, see what we get. I think we've got all this up here. So we got to go across. So I'm going to put some yellow across there. Then we got to come down here, our yellow. And then we got to come through the center here and hope that that's good. Let's give that a close and see what we get. And there we go. Let's see, we got all that. Did we get down? I think we got all that. We got all of that. Still didn't get, I don't know why we're not getting that little piece right there down to the bottom. Let me put some more yellow right there and I'll give it a good push. Everything else looks like we got a pretty good coverage except for right here. Oh, now we got it. Okay. So then I just took that off there. And then I'm going to mount that on a gorgeous grape. And a melon mambo. And this one went long ways. So this one is 11 by four and a quarter. The layer is the same four by five and a quarter.
looks pretty good. And then for this one, I'm going to use, oh no, that was a different stamp. I did not bring over, I've got another saying that says, the world is better because of you, but I did not bring that one over. So, well, we will do without it because I don't know where I put it. I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So I'm gonna glue this down and when I get over to my desk, I will put it on. Glue that one on there. So that one is now complete with just that stamping and wiping it off. And then you're not stamping, we're, we were just blending our color on, wiping it clean, blend our next color in there. And then on that same note, I made this card. And I made this one ahead of time. It's the same exact steps that I took to do the stamping part, except I, where's my, uh, you guys get sick of me saying, where's my, I had a spritzer bottle that I know oh darn well I brought over here. didn't I guess I did yes I did oh it's down here next to me where all right so then I took my little spritzer bottle and I just spray it so I'm gonna spray it back off camera because I don't want to get everything here wet so I gave it a bunch of water spritzes and then I can give it a little more if I want the color to run, or I can just kind of leave it like that. Let's see. I wanted you guys to see a, I made this a while ago, so maybe it's had too much time to dry. It's not really running too much, but it gives it, kind of brings out the colors a little brighter. And as you can see in this one, where I did it, I had uh, some extra water on it and then I took it and went like this with it and then I get the color to run. This is not watercolor paper. So I did then hit it with my heat tool to let it dry up a little bit. And then I mounted it on gorgeous grape. Let's see if I can put enough glue on there to get it to stick because we know that the cards are gonna curl, the paper's gonna curl. I'm being wet. I'm gonna flip that over and press it down. My fingers, I don't know how much ink I'm gonna have on my fingers, so I'm trying to be very careful to not touch too much with my wet fingers or with my possibly inky fingers like this one, the green one all the way under my fingernail. Who knows how much of it's gonna leak out onto my projects. And then I'm going to put that on. And we've got some white for the inside. And then now you guys won't forget to put your name on the back of your cards so that everybody can admire them and tell you what great job you did. How much they liked it. And so we have that one and I'm gonna also wait on this one 
to put this sentiment on there. Or maybe I can find something else. There's a... Um, um, the sending stamp set that has the die cut, um, that one you can cut out sending and then it says love across the miles or something on it. I didn't dig mine out, but I think I might use that as well. So I'm gonna wait, I'll put those two aside. We won't recap those. So there's, there's two more that you could kind of do with that stamp set. Then I've got a sample. I'm gonna show you a sample that I just made the card. I didn't, we're not gonna do this one. So this one is the world stamped in mint macaron. Then I clear heat embossed it on a piece of the fancy flora paper that I thought kind of looked, you know, wavish. But if, if you got out some of the old wave paper that we had, about this time last year, that would be beautiful under there. And I mounted on mint macaron and balmy blue. And then this one I used the Happy Labels stamp set. And I used the um, You Are My Happy Place. And I put a little heart over here on North America, kind of, you know, hopefully there by. Michigan, I probably could have come down a little further. And then on the inside, I put love and love you and miss you. So you could send that to somebody, you know, across the miles kind of thing. And then I have this one that was a genuine nightmare because I guess I'm just not versed well enough with this gold gilded leafing stuff but I tried it and I was able to get this out of it and I watercolored it no I, I, I clear embossed it first then I watercolored all around it and that um, finally Friday smooshy with the pl plastic bag technique would look real cute on here too um, but this, I, I will show you in a second what how this is done. And then I used, I re stamped it with the um, Versamark over my embossing. And then I put the heat and stick powder on it because that's what I have always heard is what you use to stick your, your gold leafing down. Unless you're gonna do like a strip or something, um, you can use the double-sided tape or you can use any adhesive stuff will stick that leafing as well or the heat and stick powder. And I think the, um, the delicate touch comes from the heat and stick powder. You wanna melt it, but you don't wanna over melt it or you aren't gonna get stuff to stick. But I did that um, with the gilded leafing and I thought that it turned out all right. It gives you the, you know, the idea what I got going on here. And then I wanted to find a word. I saw some um, paintings, like wall art, and I'm pretty sure I saved a couple of them in the board. And I thought that I had a cursive word that said enjoy um, or something more like that type of a word, but I only, I had smile. I couldn't find one that I wanted. So I put peace on there and thought that, you know, it could be a, uh, what did I look up? September 21st is um, like day of world peace. Um, that's not what it's called, but there is, it's for like world peace. Read, you're on. You have to look that up and tell me what September 1st is for world peace. What the, what the day name is, but you could use it for that. Um, you could switch up the colors and use it for Christmas, anything like that. But I want to give you that as another option to using it. And honestly, if you don't like the gold leafing to use that because it is, it's very, very static. It's everywhere over on my craft table. Um, you could use gold or silver embossing powder 
and that would be very pretty and the details would be there as well um, without all the, let's see, if, can you see all the dimension in the different stuff there? Because some of it, like these were bigger pieces, so they're flatter and shinier. Some of them were more dustier. Um, and so you just get a whole different look. But anyway, that's another idea if you wanted to go with that route. But in that sense, I took, where's my last card? I've got, this is watercolor paper. Again, five by three and three quarters. And what I've done is I'm gonna, it's gonna sort of be like that bag technique that I showed you guys on my Finally Friday smooshing thing. But we're just gonna use our water painter. And so I've got the water paper or the watercolor paper and I got my water painters. And so you can squish some water out onto the card if you want and get, get that part going. And then I'm just dumping, oh, I didn't bring it over. Um, I wanted to put some more water in these, but we're not gonna, I'll just have to, be, this is pear pizzazz. And I put extra um, ink in there because I was gonna fill them. And I didn't wanna do it ahead of time. So I'm just gonna dab this around on there. And like I said, put some extra water on it to give it, and these watercolor brushes suck the color back up inside too. So they're kind of all around a backwards type of, from what we used to have, the way they work. They unscrew backwards. And I'm just gonna leave that pooling on there because um, it is watercolor paper and then we want it to soak in. So that was old olive and then this is garden green and this one's gonna be really dark because I added more ink and not more water. So again, I'm just gonna dab around and let that water do its thing. And get spread these other colors in and you can go over it a couple times if you want to and let it sit on there let it dry and then do it again we just want to spread the ink around like that's what i'm going to do blend our colors together I'm going to give it a second. International Day of Peace. That's it. Oh, thank you, Dawn. All right, then I'm going to take my tissue again and I'm going to dab it off. And when you dab it off, you'll see that the color is lightening. lightening up. So I'm going to come back again and put some more on it. And our various colors. And I don't have the best of watercolor paper. I'm waiting for it to get gone before I buy good stuff, but I got to use it more to do that. So, all right, so we got that on there. And then you can just let it sit as long as you want, let it dry as long as you want on there, and then be sure and go clean out your brush. Get that um, color out of your bristles and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and dab it off again. You can hit it with the heat tool now to heat it up and let it all dry, soak in there. I'm gonna move that aside because I made one already ahead of time doing the same thing.
And then I'm going to mount this one on black. I thought this one could maybe be a little more on the masculine side than the pinks and stuff I was using. Then I have garden green at the four and a quarter by 11. And we'll glue that down. I don't have a sentiment on this one either. Find something to put on it. We'll better make sure it's going to open the right way. Like this. And this one, maybe we could use some black matte dots, different spots, or depends what I decide to make it for. If I do a, um, you know, adventure awaits or good things lie ahead, whatever, and, and maybe put a dot if someone was going to tr travel some, oh, I'm going to Greece. So maybe I can put a see you soon on there and put it out where I'm going. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I think that that is the last of all the samples that I had to put together. So let me show you. So we, it, it's, it, you know, it's kind of a cool set. I just wanted to show you guys that there are a variety of uses for it. I was thinking that we could even um, slice it into strips and then put them askew. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of what was in my head to do with it today. Let me, oh my mouse is gonna be asleep. Let's go in my spotlight. should be back. Yes, I should be back now. So I just wanted to show you guys the watercolor world stamp set and maybe you've overlooked it in the current mini catalog. Maybe you've already got it. Um, I just thought that it was a cool background stamp set and I could get a lot of use out of that when uh, Reedy starts getting the travel bug again. I'll talk to you next week though, guys. I'll be back and I don't know what the weather's supposed to be. Mike said snow. I think we're supposed to get snow this weekend. So if you're snowbound, I hope you get a chance to craft. If it's beautiful, please get outside because I'm sure we'll be snowbound again at some point in the near future. I'll talk to you again next week. And until then, happy stamping, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.